Today we're at Opossum Lake in Cumberland County, Pennsylvania, and we're doing some trapping for crayfish. It's kind of more of a mud bottom or a weedy bottom, so we're doing trapping to uh, try and potentially see what crayfish are here. We've set out minnow traps uh, yesterday uh, that are baited with uh, canned cat food, which crayfish are really attracted to, and that's been scientifically proven. Best case scenario would be we would catch a few native crayfish species and no invasive crayfish species. Worst case scenario, we may catch uh, some potentially new invasive uh, crayfish species for this lake. This is a project that's sponsored by a Great Lakes Restoration Initiative grant that the Fish and Boat Commission received. We know that folks will fish and then potentially travel to Lake Erie, so we're looking for potential invaders that may occur in inland waters in the state but not yet occur in Lake Erie. Uh, so we can potentially focus on some management for those and prevent them from getting into the Great Lakes. Today we're going to pull the traps out and see if we got any crayfish. And we'll just pull these up and uh, you know sometimes you get crayfish, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get other interesting things, potentially fish, or sometimes the traps are empty. It looks like we caught a lot of, a lot of muck. <laughs> Alright, hey. We got a small, looks like a bullhead catfish. So a way to tell between a yellow bullhead and a brown bullhead is look at the bottom whiskers on his chin. So these are completely yellow, whitish color, which means it's a yellow bullhead. A brown bullhead would have uh, some degree of brown on those as well, uh, kind of like the whiskers on the top of this animal. We did not catch any invasive crayfish, so it potentially suggests that this lake uh, does not have any invasive crayfish in it. So very good news today.